Man United won, Brighton 2, United lose the second game of the season start, but a good performance, but lack of awareness in the defence. I'm here with Houston Red Army and we're going to start off like, what did you think of United's play today? Overall, before we get to the clumsy goal we considered. I think the performance overall, we deserved at least a draw and I think Ten Hag, up until that McTominay substitution, I think he coached the 3-1. I think as soon as that McTominay substitution happened, we weren't getting into the final third at all. Our chances reduced to zero, and we weren't getting any movement happening in the final third. There was no one connecting the midfield to the runners. There was absolutely no movement going on past that. Right. Chris, welcome back, Chris. Chris, we haven't seen in a long time. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you, too, Mom. Um, these are my two cents I'm going to say about these. It's been a. Uh, I can't remember the last time we beat Brighton. We? No, we haven't been Brighton no. away in a long time, mate. Team, we can be. I mean, how come we can be Brighton? Brighton is not Manchester City. No, they're not. It's not like Eddie Hart. No, it it's not like it's Emirates. No, it's not. I am no. uh, 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 Anfield. Anfield. It's not. How come we can be? <laughs> they just seem to find a way. They beat us for the last three and years back the last to back time to back. We beat, the last time we beat them home, home, Bruno came from dressing room to come and score a penalty. Yeah, yeah. Team, um. Uh, uh, it, the, the game was okay, we, but we can't play Bruno as a, as a force nine. That was, that's, that's a point for another thing, but we need to start, we need to have a striker at the game. And then, like he just said, we cannot play without a, 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 a creative midfield. You take Bruno out, we bring Matomo. Matomo is not going to create for you. No. You need a goal, and you, you take the only player out. If you bring Bruno out, bring Ericsson in. Something like that. Someone who's going to create the chance for you. The, the wingers can only do so much, but you need the ball to be placed out, distributed. Yeah. Who's going to pass the ball to the winger? You need Bruno exactly for that. Exactly my point. But at the same time, we can't play Bruno every day, every game, every match. But we have my Okay. The, we have Mason, to, Mason should be the backup. Exactly. Hypothetically, to Bruno. But he's but not. Because of our pressing structure, we require, we require him out in the starting lineup. I'm hoping. Now that Xerxes has shown Ten Hag quite a bit, I like to say, you can give him fault, you can give him grief for that offside goal, sure. Right. But I think overall his performance since match week one has been so far stellar for someone who hasn't even had a preseason yet. Right, right. And right. didn't play Jack at the Euros. So the way I see it, Xerxes has to start against Liverpool, Mount has to be dropped, Bruno has to play his natural position at the ten. Right. That is the only way we win against Liverpool because if we sort of mount, we're going to see the same shit that we saw before Xerxes came on. Right. on no a, chance. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give United's performance today? You know, I'll give it a 7, 7.5, actually. Wow. I quite enjoy I enjoyed it from minute 1 to minute until McTominay came on. Right. And even then, <laughs> I don't credit McTominay at fault. It was more so about Bruno leaving than McTominay coming in. But generally speaking, I quite like that performance overall. I think Ten Hag coached the 2-1 win. He was just hard done by, bad luck, everything else, man. Chris, score one to ten. Just because you lost, I'm not gonna go more than five. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? So I'm, I'm, even I'm, I'm, you, you didn't like the play. You didn't like the play. I'm, 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 the play was okay. The play was okay. Casemiro is locked in. You know what I mean? Something, something from Casemiro he wasn't doing last season. We got Martinez back. He, he's logging on defense, but. That goal, the first goal. We conceded. We conceded. It wasn't on Martinez. No. A big kid should have covered him. Maguire, sorry, talk about that. But uh, Maguire should have covered that one. He passed Martinez. Yes. But Maguire is the next centre back. He should yeah. have covered that one. Very true. I, 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 I agree. So just because he lost, it's not like we play bad. We played a good game. So you give them five. I'm seeing a good improvement from last season. Okay. But so you should be losing. After some... all that good play from last season, you should this... give us five out of ten. I give the five, five over ten because just because we lost because we, we, the game was okay. Hey, if we could have won, if we, we could have won, that was an eight out of ten game. Okay. But just because yeah. we, we lost, I'm not gonna go above it because. All right. That's standards. Cool. That's standards. That's, That's standards. right. 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 Who, uh, quick, before I go quickly, who was the United player? Who you thought was United's best player today? Man of the match for Man United. Of the match? Yeah. I think it's between Ahmad and Garnacho. As soon as Garnacho, those 16 minutes when Garnacho came on with Bruno, everything was going on the left side. Right, right. Those 16 minutes he was class, but through the entire game, I have to give it to Ahmad. He's class. You? I go with Ahmad too. Ahmad, yeah. I go with Ahmad too. He, that, 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 that kid been, uh, he been amazing this season. Considered he just lost his mom. He considered he lost his mom and he still got the composure to come and score goals and. 
run through defenders and all that. He still played almost like 85 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I don't think he's supposed to be playing all 90 minutes. I think at some point we have to give up. We don't like We all don't like him, but at some point you have to play Anthony yeah. a little bit. Right. Were you surprised at uh, Rashford's substitution? That no. came as a surprise or you? I think it was He valid. deserved to be substituted. I think, I think it was a deserved sub. I'm, I'm sad for him because he is... <laughs> you, you, we associate a lot of good memories with Marcus. He's... He's our boy. He's our guy. He kept, he held us through yeah. during some dark, dark times. But like we can't we can't suffer these losses trying to play him into form when we don't know if that's going to come. That's and right. When that's right. there's some but when there's some guy on the bench who you can argue is more consistent game week in, game week out. Be before I end, uh, I'm gonna give a big shout out to Masra or whatever. Masra, the low too. The full yeah, low. They, they played the low. They they uh, played uh, uh, Remember, the low played that ball off the line. We could have been. We could have been two, two down. Two nil down, coming in half. Masra, he, 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 he been good. He got two assists, two games. Yeah. No, no precision games or nothing. That means another guy we need in the team. I know he means one Bisaga with all the tackles yeah. and all that, but. That guy be showing up for the team. Right. I'll tell you what, Shaw's gonna have to play himself into this. Oh, right? yeah, it shouldn't it's be automatic. It's not gonna be a gimme like it was no, before. No, He's gonna have to no. play himself into it. Zero. Well, you've heard it from Houston Red Army. We didn't win the game. We played well. We won the battle, but we lost the war. From all of us, Glory.